Hi, mathematicians. In this video, we're going to explore a relationship between a girl's age and height. Pediatricians use growth charts to check in on how children are growing and developing. While we are all different sizes at different ages, our growth tends to follow similar patterns. This table shows the pattern of the growth of a girl who falls in the 50th percentile. So for example, if we look at an age come over when she's 13, we can see that her height was 157 centimeters. Now you might be thinking for a minute, hmm, 157 centimeters, what would that be in feet and inches? I can take that 157 centimeters. I know that they're 2.54 centimeters in each inch, so I can see how many 2.54s will fit into 157. I'll use my calculator, and that tells me that 157 centimeters is about 61 and three quarters inches. And if we want to think in terms of feet, one good rule of thumb is that 60 inches is equal to five feet. So we know that 61 and three quarters inches, she's about five feet, one and three quarters inches. So you might want to compare that um, to what your height was or is as a 13 year old. So the next question we want to think about is, is this relationship between age and height, is it a function? So pause me and decide for yourself and be able to justify that, why or why not? So yes, indeed, this relationship between age and years is a function. Um, and we know it's a function for two reasons. First, it's a function because it's um, a relationship between two quantities. It has to be between two quantities. And our two quantities are age in years and height in centimeters. Next thing for it to be a function is that every input has to have exactly one output. So for example, eight has the output of 128 and that's the only output it has. And that's the truth is true for each of the inputs for ages. So we can say every input has exactly one, no more, no less output. Now, um, I'm hoping some of you are being a little skeptical and being like, whoa, 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 wait a minute. When, um, what about growing? So for example, when this girl was 13, she probably wasn't 157 centimeters the entire year. She was probably growing. So in that case, the input of 13 would have multiple outputs. So this is based on the assumption that this is the doctor's measurement chart and the um, everybody gets measured once a year. So perhaps maybe on your birthday or around your birthday. So that is an important assumption, assumption to say it is a function. All right, so here is an actual growth chart that a pediatrician would use um, to record um, your, your age and your height, et cetera. I've highlighted right here the graph or the curve for somebody that's in the 50th percentile. Um, when we're looking at this, our input is age here, and it's in years, kind of broken up between here, so it goes from two to 20. And the statue or height is along the y-axis. Again, it's sort of split, and it includes both centimeters and inches as you're moving up. Now, regardless, notice of the percentile you fall into, all of the percentiles follow a really similar pattern, so that's really interesting. Now, what typically happens when you enter high school up here? So look at the curve and see if you can see what happens. So notice you start to flatten out because um, as you get older, you reach your height that you're gonna be for most of the rest of your life. Also notice along here, there are a few little bumps that are probably like gro uh, growth spurts that you might have along the way. You can also see from the graph that for every input, there's exactly one output so again, that really confirms our idea that this is a function. Now for a function, um, the input represents what we call the independent value and the output represents the dependent value. So if we're looking at this relationship, our input, which again is our independent, independent value. And for us, the input in this relationship is your age. So you input age, and then it's going to output your height. So your output or the dependent, dependent value is going to be output, your height. 
And again, that can be centimeters for us. Um, what we tend to say then, or we typically describe this relationship, this function relationship in two ways. We might say height is dependent on age. And this is clearly telling us that age is the input and height is the output because height is dependent on age. Another typical way we would say this is we would say height is a function of, a function of. That's a little bit more of a mathematical way of saying it. And still in the case, age is the input and height is the output. This way of saying is dependent on is the same as saying is a function of. So you hear mathematicians talk about it in both ways. You might say height is dependent on age, or you might say height is a function of age. And it's such a concise and precise statement because it's clearly telling us what the input is and what the output is. Now, because this relationship between input and output is so important for functions, we use a special mathematical notation for functions. Now you're gonna be learning about the special notation in the next video. All right, talk to you soon.